Genetic engineering and the unlimited imagination of scientists work wonders. Mad scientists have already been able to create a goat that gives spider webs, turn cats into werewolves, and bugs into cyborgs, and even cross human and pig. Soon you'll find out what else modern science is capable of. In this episode, I'll show you the most incredible and strange creatures that mad scientists have created. Let's go! Spider Goat When Peter Parker was bitten by a spider, he became a superhero and started shooting webs out of his hands, climbing walls and anticipating danger. Apparently, the University of Utah professor Randy Lewis was inspired by the story of Spider-Man because it was he who crossed a goat with a large spider of the species called Nephilia clevips. The result was the spider goat, or the goat spider. Name's not so important. What is important is the fact that the unusual goat learned to weave a web, or to give it to be more precisely. The milk that spider goats produce is rich in spider silk proteins, so all you have to do is filter the milk and wind the spider silk on a spool. But what was the point of that anyway? Actually, there are many benefits to Lewis's experiment. The spider silk produced by the goat is a very strong material that's surprisingly even stronger than iron. The raw material obtained on spider goat farms is brought up for huge sums of money by high-tech companies. The durable spider silk can be used to produce everything from armor to medications. There's plenty of room for creativity, as the spider goat material can be reoriented for a variety of purposes. The Pig and Human Chimera Since long ago, many scientists have dreamed of combining humans with some animal to see what would come of it. Today, we're one step closer to solving another cross-species mystery. Because four years ago, scientists from the Salk Institute for Biological Research in California announced that they had successfully created a human-pig hybrid. The resulting creature was called a chimera. It's not quite a full-fledged creature, but still definitely a breakthrough in genetics. Scientists injected human stem cells into a pig embryo, which was then implanted into a breeding sow. The human and pig embryos were allowed to develop for 28 days, which is one-third of a pig's pregnancy. The embryos were then extracted. But why? Why did the scientists cut the experiment short if it was going well? As the scientists said, 28 days was enough time to understand exactly how pig and human cells mix, but not enough time for the experiment to cause public outrage, because crossbreeding experiments always connect with ethics. It's possible that soon the ethical issue will be resolved and we'll be able to look at a completely new half-pig, half-human creature. Vacanti Mouse Charles Vacanti of the University of Massachusetts Medical School became famous at the end of the last century by creating the mouse, an extraordinary mouse. Together with a team of other scientists, Charles bred a mouse that he named after himself. The Vacanti mouse looks like an ordinary mouse, except that it has an ear on its back. It has an ear that looks like a human one. Vacanti was able to create such a creature by implanting cow cartilage cells into a biodegradable ear-shaped mold, which was subsequently embedded under the mouse's skin. The mold was positioned so that the mouse's blood could flow into it, which nourished the artificial ear itself and formed its proper shape. After the cartilage grew, the mold disappeared, decomposing and leaving only the ear on its back. As Charles said, the experiment showed that cartilage tissue could be used as implants. These days, genetic engineering can be used not only to create a strange mouse or a combination of a pig and a human, but also to turn ordinary dogs into real bodybuilders. Very soon, you'll see this miracle of genetic engineering and learn about other unusual creatures created by mad scientists. And here are strongmen. I mean, strong animals. The male Hercules and the female Tanzhu are the result of the work of Chinese scientists from Gangzhou who have literally equipped the dogs with incredible musculature through genetic engineering. The dogs belong to the breed of Beagle that were selected from 27 puppies, which embryos were genetically modified. By the way, the essence of the modification is simple. Scientists kind of turned off the genes that produce myostatin, a protein that inhibits muscle growth. Because of this, the muscle mass of Hercules and Tain Zhao did not stop growing, and very quickly the dogs turned into muscle heads. The results here. As scientists say, such powerful dogs are created for a reason. 
in the future they can be used in the police, elite force, border patrol service, and so on. I think that such giants will not be superfluous there. Werewolf Cats Not only dogs are unusual, but also cats. For example, in 2010, the Lacoy breed was registered in America. Popularly, these cats are often called werewolf cats, and no wonder, because their appearance is strange to put it mildly. Angular muzzle, thin coat, yellow eyes, and a little crazy look. According to one version, no one bred the Lacoy intentionally, but according to another, the cat was bred by the couple Johnny and Brittany Gobble, who crossed mutant kittens with each other and got little werewolves. Another theory is that the Gobbles crossed their domestic cat with a sphinx to get the werewolf. The Lacoy cats are agile cats that love to run and hunt. They're distrustful of strangers, but quickly get used to them and relent. The unusual mutation does not greatly affect the health of the cats, but there are some disadvantages to the Lacoy. One of them is abundant molting. This is explained by the fact that the hair follicles of the Lacoy cats are very unstable, and at times their hair completely falls out, leaving the cats bald. Israeli Bald Chicken Speaking of bald creatures, about 10 years ago, a group of Israeli geneticists led by Avigdor Kohener completed 25 years of work on the creation of an unprecedented breed of chicken. By crossing broilers and naked neck chickens, Israeli scientists have bred birds completely devoid of plumage. Such an unusual project was dictated by Israel's hot climate, in which many feathered chickens feel bad, get sick, and sometimes die from overheating. The new breed has gained popularity among Israeli farmers because of its many advantages. The Israeli bald chicken is quite hardy, has good immunity, and is not afraid of mites and parasites, which usually can be found in the plumage. Among the other benefits is the fact that bald chickens do not need to be plucked, which saves a lot of time. At the same time, the hybrid bird has disadvantages. It totally lacks the instinct of hatching eggs, and its meat is rejected by Orthodox Jews because it's not kosher. After realizing these and some other shortcomings, Cohener decided to postpone plans for large-scale breeding of bald chickens until a later date. Cyborg Bugs it's not necessary to cross different kinds of animals or change any genes to create a new unusual creature. Sometimes it's enough to use electronic technology. This is what engineers from the UC Berkeley did, developing a device that allows you to control the movements of beetles. They attached a 3.9-volt battery to the back of the bug, connected to six electrodes implanted in the muscles responsible for the movement of its wings. By sending electric signals to the beetle, Scientists make it rise, fall, and move in the direction they direct it. Tests in a closed laboratory have shown that the beetle can be moved left and right. It's even possible to make the bug turn around. Scientists believe that cyborg bugs are not just something created for fun, but very useful creatures. In their opinion, such beetles can be equipped with devices that measure thermal radiation and be used to search for people under the ruins after earthquakes. They could also be sent to explore inaccessible terrain. Although the same thing could be done by drones or other devices, scientists believe the beetles would do it better. Fish with a tumor A tumor is considered something bad, something you should get rid of, right? Yes, but not all people think that way. For example, some scientists breed creatures that are given tumors, or more precisely, protuberants, and flowerhorn chichlid fish are among them. As a result of artificial breeding, these fish have large outgrowths on their foreheads. There are other similar fish, such as pom-pom. Fleshy pom-pom grows from the nose of this fish. Artificial growth of such protuberance is dangerous for fish. In the case of flowerhorn chichlids, the outgrowths limit their vision, making it harder for the fish to live. In the case of pom-pom, the outgrowth on the nose can reach the size that it enters the fish's mouth. However, scientists and breeders do not pay attention to this and continue to breed fish with protuberance. The reason's simple. These fish are considered lucky symbols in some Asian regions, so people are willing to buy them for a lot of money. Enviropig Sometimes scientists breed ornamental animals, and sometimes they breed creatures that can be of great benefit to society. Enviropigs are among the latter. Enviropigs are pigs with modified genes. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved genetically modified enviropigs. These creatures can be used for both food and medical research. 
these pigs produce 65% less phosphorus and animal waste and thus are more beneficial to the environment. These pigs lack a gene that causes a certain group of people to develop acute food allergies since the enviro pig meat is safer than that of a regular pork. Scientists hope that soon enviro pigs can be improved to the point where they become completely safe and maximally beneficial creatures. That's all guys. What kind of creature would you like to create by yourself? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.